So I recently came across this video by another YouTuber who's claiming that making money online with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping is pretty easy. So I decided I would check out her video and see if what she's saying really makes sense. Hey, what's up everyone? Paul here from dropshippingtitans.com where I teach regular people just like you how to start your own successful dropshipping store. Recently, this video by The Meg Rye showed up on my YouTube homepage and the title really shocked me because she said, I tried dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace, make money online, easy 2021. So I kind of want to check out this video and give you my in real time reaction to it and to see if what she's saying makes sense, if making money online with Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, the way she explains it really is this easy. I just to give you some context. I've been dropshipping with Facebook Marketplace for months now. I'm doing pretty well with it. I've taught it to a lot of other people as well. So I think I have a lot of knowledge that I can bring and compare it to what she's talking about in this video. So let's not waste any more time. Let's check out her video right now. What's up guys? I tried dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace from retail stores like Walmart, Home Depot, and Lowe's. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys what happened because I think that this is all right, so right away, it seems very similar to the way that I do it. I'm also drop shipping from other retail websites, spe specifically mostly Amazon and Walmart.com. She's using Lowe's, which is actually one of the retailers I usually don't recommend that people go with because their website is notoriously pretty terrible. A lot of technical glitches, not the greatest customer service, but you know, it does work if you can get it to work. So props to her if she got it to work. This is one of the easiest side hustles for beginners to start in 2021 and that's a pretty bold claim one of the easiest for beginners to start in 2021 but if you guys have watched any of my recent videos i've also said the same thing i really do believe it is one of the easiest ways to start making online in 2021 and she's probably going to explain why that is this is actually an update to a video that I posted a few weeks ago. So for those of you that are new here, or maybe it's your first time watching one of my videos, I do have experience at dropshipping on eBay. And up until about a month or so ago, when I started watching videos about Facebook Marketplace, I thought that there was no option for shipping on Facebook. Okay, so uh, I've checked out some of her other videos in the past. You know, she definitely has a lot of experience with dropshipping. So you guys should definitely check them out later. Um, but she's talking right now, she's starting to talk about how you can't ship items with Facebook Marketplace or the how that wasn't the case in the past. Facebook Marketplace, so I thought that was just the place people went to to buy and sell things locally, but it turns out I was wrong. So after watching a few videos about this, I felt pretty comfortable, so I jumped right. Yeah, so recently, within the past year or so, Facebook allowed us to start shipping items to our customers. They call that the shipping option. So that now unlocked the ability for us to do drop shipping. Because in the past, you had to sell items locally, just like Meg was saying here. And now when someone buys it from you, you can have your, your supplier that you're drop shipping from ship the item directly to the customer. So it's, it's a big game changer right in and started listing products from these retail stores. And now it's been a few weeks since I started this and I was actually gonna wait a little longer to make this update video because I wanted to wait until I had more results to document for you guys, but I've been getting asked about this a lot. So I decided to just make the video now and I'll just make another update video if things really start to pick up. So today I'm gonna tell you guys how much money I've made so far on Facebook Marketplace, how much in sales, how much in profit, and I'm even gonna share with you guys the exact products yeah, so I really appreciate that because a lot of people will just post up their sales, not really talk about the profit. You know, I made a similar video to this, kind of similar, where I talked about how well I did my first week doing Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. And in that video, I not only broke down the sales, but also the profit as well. And if you guys do want to check out that video, we'll have it linked up in the, the card right up here. That I've sold. Always super jealous of that intro. I think it's so cool and so much better than my intro. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me already, hello, my name is Meg and on my channel, I make videos testing out different online business ideas as well as different side hustles, basically non-traditional ways of making money. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops. And while you're at it, you might as well hit the thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm because it helps out a lot more than you know, and I really appreciate it. Okay, so before we get any further into this video, for those of you that don't know what dropshipping is, dropshipping is an online business model where 
there, you don't have to keep an inventory of the products that you sell. Instead, you are simply listing products from other online retailers for a markup in your own store. And then whenever you get a sale, you just go back to that other retailer, order it and put your customer's information in at checkout. And that other retailer will ship the product directly to your customer. So you never have to actually see or touch the products that you are selling. And also, I think that's a perfect explanation. Couldn't say better, better myself. Another thing before we get into the results, I just want to be completely straightforward with you guys and let you know that the results that I've gotten so far are not anything crazy. I'm not making $200 a day drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace. It's honestly been kind of slow and I've only gotten two sales so far, but that could be because I haven't been listing consistently. I've just been working on... All right. So yeah, I do know that there have been a lot of people who are making really great sales really, really fast. Now, Megazuri said she's not listing consistently, and that has been one of the keys that we've seen. We've seen that when people list items consistently, they get more consistent sales. So Meg, that would be my advice to you. It sounds like you already know that. I know you do a lot with YouTube and other side hustles. So, you know, it's probably more of a time thing more than anything else, but you know, just keep that in mind that, you know, the more, the more you list, the more consistent you are, the better the results are. So many other side hustle projects that I actually oh, forget <laughs> to list on Facebook Marketplace. Also, there's something that I... But that's actually one of the other cool things about Facebook Marketplace is that's very easy to just kind of uh, put it aside for a while and then come back to it. Um, I've been able to do that when I've had other projects going on, just kind of put it aside, have my sales slow down. And then when I'm ready to get back into it, start listing products and get the uh, revenue and the, the sales start generating up. So for that reason, I really feel like it's a really, really great side hustle. I can't figure out about Facebook Marketplace and I haven't seen this talked about in other videos. I mean, maybe this is an easy fix and I hope that I don't sound dumb for saying this, but I don't know how customers can actually go and buy the item through Facebook Marketplace because before I got my first sale, I had a lot of people hitting my DMs first to make sure that the item was still available. And someone even asked me how to purchase the item that I was selling. And I was like, you know what? That's a good question. And even when I go on Marketplace myself and scroll through the listings, I've noticed that I don't have the option to buy the items right away. Instead, I have to hit the seller with a, is this available? And most likely never hear back. But I know that Facebook is still making some changes to Marketplace and still working on it. I've heard in other Facebook Marketplace dropshipping videos that only certain people have the option for shipping and that there are still a lot of random glitches that need to be worked out on the platform in general. So maybe not everyone has the option to purchase products right away on Facebook Marketplace at the moment. I don't know what's up with it. All right, so a couple of things that I wanna kind of break down there. So yeah, you're right about a lot of these things. First of all, not everyone has the shipping option available to them. And also Facebook, the platform in terms of marketplace and the shipping option is still very new. So there are still a lot of glitches. Uh, so, so that could be one reason, but let me actually show you. So I'm gonna actually hop onto Facebook right now and go into marketplace. And then what I'm gonna search for, I'm gonna search for some products here and because you gotta search for something in order to get into the filter. So now I'm gonna come into the filter here on the left and in the item condition, I'll choose new, just it doesn't really matter, but in terms of for drop shipping. And then I want for delivery method, shipping. Now, again, this is one of those strange glitches. Not everyone has the ability to filter by shipping for some reason, but it's available to me. And now if I click on one of these ones, we know all these are gonna ship. So which we know that means that, oh, what's going on with this? Just like some weird, uh, gotta have one of those warnings at the beginning of this video about psychedelic kind of flashes. Let's try it again. All right, finally got that to work. So as a buyer, I'm coming to here, looking at the photos, looking at the right, where they have the title and the price and the description. And there's a big button down here on the bottom right that says buy now. If I were to click this, I could purchase it right here, or I can make an offer. The payment goes through Facebook and to this seller. Now, this seller, because they have this buy now button, and because once I click buy now, they will then ship it to me, which it says right here, ships for $6 in this case, sometimes it's free. That means they have the shipping option. They have the option to offer shipping on their listings. Other sellers do not have that option. Why don't they have that option? Well, new accounts will not have that option. 
or if you've violated some sort of community guidelines, you won't have that option as well. And usually the reason that gets taken away, the reason that the violation usually occurs if you've been running Facebook ads in the past, like if you were doing Shopify dropshipping and had your uh, ads account shut down. In that case, you wouldn't have the shipping option available either. So I hope that makes sense. But if any of you guys have any knowledge of why this is happening, please feel free to leave a comment and let me know because I did try to Google how to purchase something on Facebook Marketplace and nothing helpful came up. Anyways, after getting a lot of is this available messages from interested buyers, one day someone just randomly bought one of my items. So I got my first sale on December 4th for this classic six drawer. All right, so right here I could see that you've sold this product for 160 bucks and you have the option to upload a tracking number, which means that, yeah, you had the shipping option available, which means that you had that buy now button, they clicked on it, they sent you money, that money is now inside the Facebook account until you upload a tracking number, and then a few days later, Facebook releases that money to you. Drawer dresser by Mainstays. I sold this for $160. The buyer paid $172 altogether. So that was $12.80 in state taxes. However, when I went back to Walmart to fulfill this order, the white dresser that I had listed was actually out of stock. And I know that this is a problem oh no. that a lot of people are worried about. And this even deters a lot of people from starting drop shipping. I get asked about this a lot and how you deal with it. So even though this isn't like a one size fits all solution, this is what I did in my situation. I noticed that even though the white dresser was out. All right, so let's back up. So this item was out of stock, this color. So what you could have done beforehand is we use software and that software will actually alert us when these items go out of stock. So you took this item from Walmart, you listed it onto Facebook Marketplace. I would then input this item from Walmart into the software. And then as soon as this item goes out of stock, that software will, will alert us and say, hey, it's out of stock. So that way you don't, you don't sell an item on Facebook Marketplace that's out of stock. Or if the price changes, it will alert you about that as well. Uh, so that's what I would recommend that you do so that that, that mistake doesn't happen again. But I'm curious to hear how you actually uh, solve this. Out of stock, there were other color options available that were still in stock. There was a gray color, a walnut color, and an espresso color. So I sent the buyer a professional sounding message that <laughs> went like this. Hello, and thank you for your interest in my classic six drawer dresser. Unfortunately, it has just been brought to my attention that the white finish is out of stock currently. So sorry about that. However, I do have other colors available, including a gray that looks close to white. Would you be interested? Other colors include walnut and espresso. Let me know if you would like to see photos of the other color options and about- I think that was really, really smart idea to do that. I've done that a lot myself. So big thumbs up for, for doing that. Uh, I would have sent photos right away, but hey, not a big deal. A half hour later, dude just responded, gray is fine. So I was like, bet, say less. Then I- So one of the really cool things is that if you try to do this on other marketplaces, the customers usually get more upset. It's more likely that they'll get upset. On Facebook Marketplace, they're awesome. The customers on Facebook Marketplace are really cool, much more understanding, and you'll get a lot more of these yeses than you would on other platforms. I went back to Walmart and bought and shipped the dresser to the customer for $151.20. Now, for those of you that don't know, the great thing about selling on Facebook Marketplace right now compared to other platforms like eBay and Amazon is there are no fees for sellers currently on Facebook Marketplace. All right, so this video was made uh, very late last year and basically like a few days after this video was made, Facebook started charging a fee. It's only a 5% fee, which is extraordinarily low, especially considering they have to pay at least probably about 3% uh, transaction fee with the credit cards or probably less. They probably get a little bit of a deal on that, but still that's a, that's a pretty good deal, just 5%. Place. However, that is going to change next month, January 2021, which is really only in a matter of days. And that's pretty crazy okay. to think <laughs> about. But then they're going to be taking a 5% fee from each sale that you make. So still compared to eBay and Amazon, I believe eBay fees are somewhere between 10 and 12%. And I really Am should just shut up because you're saying everything that I just said in my commentary anyway. Amazon is about 15%. So it's still pretty good compared to those other platforms. And 
And another thing I should mention about Facebook Marketplace is they're actually really strict about uploading the tracking number within a few days after the sale. So I did that as soon as I could. Facebook also doesn't release the funds from your sales until a few days after your item has been delivered to the customer. So in the case of my first sale, the dresser was delivered on December 11th, but the funds didn't hit my bank account until December 16th. But then when they did release the funds, I got paid $160, which means I only made a profit of $8.80 since yeah so first of all if, if you don't upload those tracking numbers they'll cancel your orders uh, even if you've already bought it from like walmart so make sure you do that uh eight bucks you know that's not nothing i mean that came out of basically thin air and you know if you had gotten done everything right you could have gotten it much higher um right now the margins on facebook marketplace are excellent so you shouldn't be going for the very low margins mark those items up because they're still selling on Facebook Marketplace at the higher margins. The product cost $151.20 on Walmart. And personally, I wanna make more of a profit than that on each sale. So I've been marking up my prices on each listing a bit more now. So the second sale that I got was a bit better. I sold this bathroom medicine cabinet shelf thing from <laughs> Home Depot and I sold- I love that we don't even always know what it is that we're selling, but it still works for $150 when it was only $98 on Home Depot. So shipping was free, but there was a sales tax of $5.88. So the total cost for me was $103.88. So the profit on this item- uh, I've actually become tax exempt on Home Depot, so I don't pay sales tax when I purchase items from them was $46.12. So in total, I've made a profit of $54.92 in the past few weeks of drop shipping on Facebook. Hey, that's not bad for just two sales. I mean, you should be really proud of that. That really, I think, shows more than anything the potential of this, especially when you consider the first sale, you know, the margins weren't that great and you figured it out for the next one. Marketplace, like I said, the results that I've gotten so far aren't anything crazy. So if I decide to step it up and start devoting more time to this, I'm sure that I'll see better results and I'll make an update video for you guys then if sales pick up. All right, Meg, so congratulations on your success so far. I mean, I really love your videos and love all the different side hustles that you do because you really go for it. You really at least try it and show people the potential of what it is that's out there and, and the potential for them to make money online. So big, two big thumbs up for you. Now, underneath this video, I'll have a link to the Meg Rise YouTube channel. I actually have a link directly to this video so you guys can check it out. And leave a comment after you subscribe to her channel saying, hey, Paul J. Lipsky sent me and told me to subscribe. And then guys, underneath that, I'll have a link to a free video series I'm hosting all about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. There are multiple videos in the series, so you sign up for it, you get access to all those videos. These are not videos that I put on YouTube. These are exclusive videos just for this free video training series that's only available for a limited time. So click on that second link, sign up for that free video series, and I'll see you there once the videos are available. Thanks so much for watching, see you guys next time.